With just one week and one day until you head to the polls for this year's primary election, there are still a number of important races that you'll need to know about before you cast your vote. 24 Hour News 8 political reporter Rick Alvin has a look at an, another of the state house races in Decision 2012. The 86th House District, like all districts, was redrawn after the 2010 census. This is the first election cycle for the newly reapportioned area. The seat has changed from just two years ago. This time it takes in this part of Kent County, including Belding and Ionia in Ionia County. Lisa Postumus Lyons is the incumbent. She was elected two years ago. The Republican challenging her next week is Thomas DeVault, a teacher and first-time candidate. We spoke to both of them about the problems facing the state and their reasons for running. Public service is definitely a noble calling, um, and it's for those who have a servant's heart, and that's what I feel I do. Um, but I'm running this year to continue my record of real results for Michigan's families. We, we, over the last two years since I've been serving in the legislature, we have reformed taxes, getting rid of the job-killing Michigan business tax for our small businesses. Um, in the House, we have cut taxes for hardworking Michigan families. We have reformed the regulatory structure that has um, hindered job growth and job creation in our state. And we have reformed spending, which was not easy, but it had to be done. It's just become way too divisive, and I think the left, I think the Democrats have done the same thing. They've gone way too far left. Uh, in fact, if, I, I truly believe that if you were to line up all the politicians in Lansing, and, and probably nationally as well, uh, on a political football field, you would have the majority of them stuck between the 20-yard lines and, and the end zones. There's a vacuum there between, in the middle of the football field. For people like me, a moderate Republican that, that kind of sees himself as, as kind of between the 40-yard lines. I have some views that are a little bit center-left, and I have a lot of views that are more center-right. Uh, but generally, I'm, I'm in the center, and I think a lot of uh, moderate Republicans and, and a lot of independents are the same way. The winner of this primary will take on Democrat Brian Bozak in the fall. For more primary previews, you can click on the On Politics tab at WoodTV.com. And of course, for complete election coverage, join us next Tuesday night for results and reactions action and right through the November general election for the most comprehensive coverage of Decision 2012.